like the eagle watching the direction of the wind and then it spreads its wings that's what we call soaring it does not fly the eagle soars god's wonder walking power i wrote here is made manifest when we call upon him God's wonder working power is made manifest when we call upon him. God's wonder working power is not made manifest when we need it. It is made manifest when we call upon him. Now, this is as simple as this point is. It is why many believers may remain disappointed in spite of every truth that we have learned. You see, one thing with the truth is the Bible says, and you shall know the truth. And if it is truth you have found, there must be the corresponding liberty. That means whatever you find that claims to be the truth and cannot administer liberty is not the truth. Hallelujah. Let me repeat it again for emphasis. God's wonder-working power is made manifest when we call on him watch this Jesus is passing Jericho and theologically speaking that would be the last time Jesus is passing Jericho and then a man who was born blind is that in your Bible that man sat there and Jesus was passing as if he did not see him and the man began to shout thou son of David have mercy on me and the people there said keep quiet don't distract Jesus there are serious things for him to do. He says, I, I use my will to make my matter serious. The Bible says he shouted the more. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And when that happened, Jesus hushed and said, what should I do for you? Can, that would look like sarcasm. I mean, what would a blind man want? It would be a costly assumption to assume that a blind man would want his eyes open because in Acts chapter 3, the crippled man at Gate Beautiful did not want healing. He wanted money. Is that true? Yes. The Bible says he sat there begging for arms. An ugly situation sitting at a beautiful gate. And he was asking for arms. And then peter looked at him and said no you need more than arms he said silver and gold i do not have but such as i have give i unto you he says in the name of jesus christ of nazareth rise up and walk the man was disappointed read your bible he, he sat down there he didn't stand up it was peter who reached his hand and lifted him and the bible says the man leaping stood hallelujah are we together this is a very very powerful point because there are many believers who do not know that the wonder working power of god is made manifest when we call upon him so there are a lot of complaints and lamentations and assumptions god is it that you are watching me like this you are not going to do anything this is how you watch me i assure you while i sympathize with that lamentation by the integrity of scripture nothing will happen or another consolation we have in our world one day go better oh no the assignment of time is not to change things the assignment of time is to reveal it takes decisions decisions that are intrinsically made or outsourced you have to be able to stamp your feet and say this is the moment hallelujah like someone who has come tonight you can say this is the moment that demonic sickness must leave my body being fine today and down next week i reject it and by the way may i respectfully advise never receive old age as a license for sickness never receive old age as a license for bodily degeneration it is not in the bible hallelujah whilst it is true that based on our natural law as we age of course you may not have the strength and the vitality of a baby but it is important to know that you can enjoy the requisite level of vitality required to serve the purposes of god until your time is over never receive that if you have received this as an orientation now i respect doctors i respect medical people thank god for your contribution but i'm talking to you based on the integrity of scripture here's what the bible says that they that be planted in the house of the lord 
shall flourish in the courts of our God. Are we Bible students? It says, in old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. There are many trees. There are many trees on earth that are older than humans. And those trees don't plan to go anywhere. You see them flourish and refuse to die. Hallelujah. Aware that they might be drought, they still refuse to die. They made sure that their roots went down, down enough. And here's what the Bible says. He shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water. You know what that means? You don't have to wait for seasons again. A tree that is not planted by water will have to wait for rainy season. But a tree that is planted by the streams of water, it is only its fruits that it brings in season, not its survival. Hallelujah. The wonder-working power of God is made manifest when we call upon him. Let's look at a few scriptures. Jeremiah chapter 33 and verse 3. Hallelujah. Jeremiah 33 and verse 3. Call unto me, the mighty one is saying, and I will answer thee. And I will show thee great and mighty things which thou knowest not. Call unto me, he says, and I will answer you. That means when there is no call, there will not be any response. Call and I will respond. Call and I will respond. Call concerning the health situation, I will respond. Call concerning the job situation, I will respond. Psalms 145 and verse 18 psalms 145 and verse 18 i love the bible the lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him did you see the word all there he's nigh not to men of god that call upon him he's nigh not to preachers not to apostles not to prophets he is nigh unto all all them that call upon him all them that call upon him and he says to all that call upon him in truth that means there are people who call upon him but don't mean it they are just saying it so that it will look like they are not idol worshippers but they don't intend to see him manifest jesus where are you jesus come and he says no you are playing games you are not serious it is clear from your heart that you have other alternatives but there are people who call upon him in truth have mercy upon me thou son of david i have no other god some may trust in horses and chariots i do not even have that luxury there is no horse and there's no chariot anywhere if you do not help me say unto thee O god do i lift up my soul it says oh my god let me not be ashamed is that in your bible it says let not my enemies triumph over me there is a way you can call upon him in truth call upon him in truth lord i have done my best to teach my child the way of the lord but now that he's become a teenager in an attempt to help him to receive superior education he's delving into a practice that is antichrist i have done my best as a faithful parent but i know i am limited this is your child i call upon you arise oh great one and help this child to not become a casualty let this child not become a reason for people to think serving god uh, does not pay and god will one day your child will be roaming around anywhere in the world and mama's prayer has ascended to the throne and the mighty god will arrest him a small program will be happening somewhere and it will just feel like strolling in usually that's how it is and while he stands there the rest becomes history and he calls you one morning and says mommy and you say my son where are you now he says you can't believe it you just guess where i am he said don't tell me you are with the police <laughs> And he says, not anymore. Saul has become Paul. Not anymore. And the child will start asking you, did you read your Bible today, mommy? And you say, I was busy. And say, mommy, you are backsliding already. I need to be the new preacher supervising your consistency. You believe that, shout amen. amen. Even if not for yourself, shout for somebody. hallelujah the manifest power of god 
only happens at the instance of our prayer Paul was teaching about salvation in Romans chapter 10 and when he got to verse 13 Romans 10 13 he says whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whosoever that blessing and that privilege is for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord whilst you are listening I want you to prepare your heart because tonight we are going to do some prayers there are some we are going to call upon the name of the Lord over certain issues the Bible says ye have not because ye ask not the everlasting father is ever willing to give ever willing to give but it is to them that ask Matthew 7 7 he says ask and you shall receive he said seek and you shall find then it says knock and it shall be opened unto you verse 8 says for everyone I like scripture for everyone that asketh receiveth he that seeketh findeth and the Bible says to him that knocketh it shall be open how it will be open leave that to God he says just as you do not know how bones are formed in the womb of her who is with child not the way of the wind that is how you do not know the works of the works of God how God would do it leave that to his intelligence he can use anybody including Pharaoh to bless you Are we together most times when we say God is going to bless people as we say amen our eye already goes to someone and we tie somebody in our mind that is almost witchcraft and in while we are saying amen you mean amen through that person and you will never let God rest Lord this man is rich what is it about one million and God says no leave that to my intelligence I want to take praise out of this so he can use somebody who vowed that under his watch he will not rise like Abimelech and he gets up and says I had a dream in the night what is this about you that has even made God to come and threaten me take gold take silver you can go this God bar you believe what I'm saying sometimes when we hear these things in church we just think it's a nice message prepared by a preacher to excite people believe me with all humility I'm not one of those people I don't teach what I don't believe you can taste and see that the Lord is good you can taste and see I join you tonight in your anger over that situation because it must leave you once and for all in the name of Jesus Christ it must leave you once and for all There are families that have a signboard written on them, Ikabod. People say, once upon a time, we looked up to these people. Once upon a time. No, that statement of once upon a time, we cancel it here. Please shout a loud amen. Because the Bible says, the path of the just. Are you a believer? The path of the just is as a shining light. It says it shines brighter and brighter. That means I should never have a worse yesterday. No. A better, a better yesterday I meant to say. Never. It should never be. And anything that is making your yesterday better than today. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus. Please sit down. This is a strange occurrence of darkness that happens in Africa. You see vibrant people who serve God and after 10, 20 years, one day you will see them somewhere and you are almost running away. Good afternoon, daddy. And you are tempted to say, what happened? You lived in Europe for 10 years. You lived in America for 15 years. Two of your children were professors. What is this? Last we knew, your life was an example that inspired us. And there are wicked spirits that pick people from the throne and take them back to the village in the grave. And you see them, they will tell you, they will show you photos snapping with presidents with their wives and children in the name of Jesus I'm saying it again God sent me here tonight anything programming failure in your future I stand by the God of heaven who helps men I curse that spirit in the name of Jesus
please sit down our world is full of people who were great inspirations yesterday and today there is absolutely nothing now i believe in seasons but i also believe that a man can be relevant for as long as you are in the epicenter of god's program listen there are things you need to start giving yourself a new orientation about do not believe them no no it says as your days are so shall your strength be 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 so 